Hi, my name is Etienne and I am from FPC Team 12611 Technova. Today I will be showing you how to control subsystems quickly without using the robot or the hub. Let's say that a member of your team has built a prototype, uh, for example for the carousel spinner for this year's emission, and they would like to test it. However, the robot is being worked on and uh, even after they've received the robot, they have to program, configure, and um, bug fix their program to finally be able to test this. But they don't need to wait that long. There are faster methods to do this, which I will now begin to show. The easiest way to get a motor running is just to connect it directly to the battery. Um, by uh, just connecting it straight on, you can just turn it on at full power. Um, and you can invert the direction by just plugging the cable uh, backwards. Go build sells this adapter for the uh, motor to battery uh, on your store. Now it's spinning backwards. Um, obviously, not you don't always want to have full, full speed on this, and you want some control over exactly how this is going. So let's remove this, and then bring over the digital manual speed uh, controller sold at Servo City. This uh, controller allows um, you to very quickly adjust the power that is going to the uh, motor you can, and switch the direction. Um, this is uh, way easier than just using the writing a program for this and way more flexible and fast. This is just the battery, the controller, and the motor. Okay, now be, let's say your prototype isn't using a motor. You already used up all your motor parts. You're going to use a servo. Now the servo, um, it is controlled just by, just used a rev servo programmer. It will allow you to, uh, for continuous servos, just, oops, just uh, run it at a, um, run at negative one or one speed for that servo. This is just a normal servo, so it's slow right now, but it is really quick to test. You don't even need a battery, it's just two pieces, the servo and the programmer. Um, and that is really all you need, just with an external accessory, uh, which are really worth the assessment you, uh, investment. You can easily test your motors and your servos uh, really quickly. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, as we'll be making more tips and tricks videos very soon. Thank you for watching.